They've gone a long, long way in this Champions League campaign. And while they might be tempted to think about the final, first things first, this semi-final hurdle to clear. It is Porto. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's premier club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It's Porto up against Inter. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their host can be really dangerous if they play at their best. Starting lineup for Porto. Pepe plays alongside Marcano in central defence, and so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. team Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defense Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the center of midfield and leading the attack today Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Chalanolu. Nicely timed tackle. Martinez. Otavio. Now with Uribe. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, it's always worthwhile tracking the progress of Lautaro Martinez. He can be highly influential. Stuart, what might we see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. This attack looks highly promising. Otavio. Superb block. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Steven Eustachio. Decent position. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Steven Eustachio. Chance here. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space. But he still had some work to do. And I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Underway 
once again will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response Matteo Damian Charanolu now what could Inter do from this position options in the centre well that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball Dzeko they just couldn't stay in front and now this match is all square well it's great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal So back underway following the equaliser. Evan Nilsson. Pepe. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, let's look at this again because it gets better and better each time you see it. It's perfect technique. Lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give three kicks away. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Barella on to Mkhitaryan Martinez well great read there to intercept Otavia he's found a pocket of space fruitful looking attack oh big opportunity he's blocked it He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Inter have given away possession. Italian. Well read to put an end to that attack. This looks threatening. Matteo Suribe. Steven Eustachio. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. It's one corner after another. Quite the clearance they were hoping for. Very quick thinking there. Will it happen for them?
Wendell. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Dzeko. Matteo Damian. Varela. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Nicely saved. He's given us away. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. Eva Nilsson. And on to Taremi. Good work from Inter to win it back. Dzeko. Continues his run. Can Inter take advantage of the corner kick situation? Played over. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Varela on to Dzeko can he finish and he's tempted out fully stretched somehow reaching it Trying to deliver it accurately. Not really the ideal clearance. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, we know how classy a player Lautaro Martinez can be, but not really happening for him on this occasion. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Damian. It's with Chalhanolu. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Well, it came to nothing in the end. That's really good and effective physical play. Steven Eustachio. A oh, good hit, close shave. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Dzeko. Matteo Damian. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Martinez. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Crossing into the middle. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Dzeko. Di Marco. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance.
Nicely timed tackle. Breaking at pace. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break. Porto have given it away. Chalanolu. He has teammates around him. Varela. Top class defending. Evan Nilsson. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Varela. It's with Milan Skriniar. Making progress. Varela. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Twenty minutes to go. Gorzans. Inter in a position of menace, but quick thinking defensively. And the counter looks on here, options available. A chance maybe from the wide position. He's blocked it! And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And over it comes. Well, still an issue here. Determined defending. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. This is looking threatening. Martinez. Varela. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Rendell. Possession lost by Porto. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Now with Mkhitaryan. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Very much a controlled run from Henrik Mkhitaryan. The body in the way. Oh, managing to beat him. Martinez. Def can they convert? Could be. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. They might be able to get in now. 
Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. It has to be! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Underway once again with Inter in front. The final whistle and the visitors currently in control on the back of a lead in this first game. Yeah, that was a tight game and I think they just about deserve their lead. But it's a slender one and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal.